Hi, it's Becky from Cronin's Clips, and I'm going to talk about staying in the Navy Yard area in Washington, D.C. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We put out a, a new video every week, a travel video every week. Um, so we stayed, I'm going to talk about where we stayed specifically, the Homewood Suites, and also what we did around that area, and stick around to the end, and I'm going to talk about where we ate and some of the other nearby restaurants. So we stayed at the Homewood Suites. It's the address is 50 M Street Southeast in Capitol Navy Yard area. Um, so it had an indoor pool, which uh, we took advantage of the last day. The kids really kind of just wanted to chill and went to the pool. It has uh, electric vehicle charging if you have that, which I wouldn't really recommend having a, a car in Washington DC because you can get around so much easier. Uh, with other transportation, but uh, it did have a fitness center and it has pet friendly rooms and it does have a free breakfast buffet, which we also took advantage of because um, it was just so easy to eat there before we headed out for the day. So they do have nearby uh, Subway, which is like right across the street. Um, it's on M Street and Half Street. It's also called the Navy Yard Ballpark uh, Subway and it's very convenient because it is right there um pretty much coming and going you can get on that subway so besides the metro or subway they have the dc circulator which is a bus system that um it's not quite the city bus it's more for tourists um, but right past the hotel is the eastern market lafont plaza loop uh, it goes just straight down m street and this is a good way if you wanted to go to the Navy Yard or you're going to a ball game or something there. If you're staying at the wharf, you can take the DC Circulator um, straight over to this area in the Navy Yard. So we took the DC Circulator around the National Mall area. So that's a different loop than this one. But you can um, you can take this one um, to LaFont Plaza, I believe, and then take a different loop. Or up to Union Station and take a different loop. So... That was really convenient too. Also, if you do the Capital Bike Share, there's the um, the Bike Share. There's a lot of places in that area, in the Navy Yard area, that have Capital Bike Share. It's very close. The whole Navy Yard, of course, is close to the Nationals Park, which is where the Washington Nationals play. Um, they block off Half Street, which is one of the roads leading up to the park, on game days. So you can walk around there. You can eat, um, drink. You can um, just kind of you know make your way down slowly to the um so now for the nearby restaurant so there is a ton of restaurants within walking distance um there's there's we stayed at the homewood suites but there's about five other hotels around there that they would all be within really good easy walking distance so there's a lot of fast casual you would say uh restaurants um of course we only ate at a few but uh there's Swizzler, which has burgers and fries, and pizza, which is pizza, of course. Um, there's vegetarian ones, there's Korean, there's Mediterranean. Um, so we ended up eating at the Pink Taco because it's pretty convenient. It was right across the street, and we felt like tacos, um, where I got the Pink Tacos, which were really good. Um, another place we ate was uh, Atlas Brew Works. So they have their own brewery so they have a lot of beers which my husband really enjoyed and then also they have Andy's Pizza which is really good pizza um, but they serve Andy's Pizza inside the um, the Atlas Brew Works and it was right down I think we did that one on, actually on our way to the um, Washington Nationals game so it's just straight down half street there um, is that and so like I said there's tons of other restaurants around there a lot of fast casual there's a little diner there's even a couple of really nice restaurants too, five-star restaurants. So there's pretty much something for everyone around that area. So I hope you enjoyed the little bit of information on staying in the Navy Yard Nationals Park area. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And don't forget, tomorrow is just a dream away.